Hello and welcome to this video on Dell Power Store and Proxmox integration. This video is a part two of the three part video series. In this video, we will look into multipath configuration on iSCSI volumes and configuring LVM on the iSCSI multipath device. The Power Store iSCSI volumes mapped to the Proxmox cores appear as multiple block devices. This is because of the multiple paths through which the Proxmox cores are connected to the volume. Multipath should be configured to obtain fault tolerance and load balancing. To configure multipath, first we install multipath tools package on the Proxmox cores. Proxmox recommends to use WWIDs to identify the unique disk. We use SCSI ID command to get the WWIDs of the devices. Next, we add the WWIDs of all the disks with multipath connectivity to the file etc multipath WWIDs. We update the multipath configuration file to include device specific information. Finally, we restart the multipath B service. Let's see a demo of configuring multipath on Proxmox host. On a Proxmox cluster, each of the hosts have been configured with two iSCSI interfaces. Each of these interfaces connect to two iSCSI target ports on Power Store. Thus, we have established four paths to each of the Power Store iSCSI volumes. This can be verified by viewing the iSCSI sessions established from Proxmox host. We had configured and mapped a iSCSI volume of 240 GB mapped to this Proxmox host. Let's list the block devices using lsplk command. We observe that it appears as four block devices due to four paths established from Proxmox host to power store. To configure multipath, install multipath tools package using apt install command. We use this SCSI ID command to query the WWD ID of iSCSI device. Add the WWID of the device to etc multipath WWID's file. Update the multipath configuration file to include device specific information. An example multipath.conf is shown. Restart multipath the service. List the multipath devices configured using the command multipath minus ll. The output shows multipath device configured on a power store iSCSI volume of 240 GB along with the four paths established to it from the host. This completes the demonstration of multipath configuration on Proxmox host. Let's proceed to configure LVM on the iSCSI multipath device. First, we create a physical volume on the iSCSI multipath device. Then, we create volume group using the iSCSI multipath device. Finally, using the Proxmox UI, we create LVM storage on the volume group. Let's see a demo of configuring LVM on iSCSI multipath device. First, we create a physical volume on the iSCSI multipath device. Next, we create a volume group using the iSCSI multipath device. Finally, to create LVM storage on the volume group, in the Proxmox UI, navigate to Data Center, click on Storage, click Add, select LVM from the drop down menu. In the Add LVM window, provide a name in the ID field. In the Volume Group field, select the newly created volume group on the iSCSI multipath device. In the nodes field, select all the Proxmox host. Select the shared checkbox and click add. The newly created LVM storage device is now available and listed in the storage window. This completes the demonstration of LVM configuration on iSCSI multipath device.